Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Trending Reviews. So I previously reviewed a gimbal from a company called Hohem, the iSteady Mobile Plus. If you haven't seen that, click on the card here on the top left corner of your screen to check that one out. Today I'm going to be reviewing their brand new gimbal that just came out. It is called the iSteady X. Now this is known as a palm gimbal because it's so small and lightweight that it just fits in your palm of your hands and it could possibly even fit inside your pocket. So let's go ahead and take a look at what is being claimed as the world's lightest and most compact smartphone gimbal. So let's get straight into it. So I'm really loving the packaging on this. Let's go ahead and open this up. Look how tiny and compact that is. Take the gimbal out. Comes with a little tripod. Now it is a USB-C gimbal, which gives you a massive eight hours of battery life. So this is perfect for charging that. And you also got a little strap, which comes with a pouch that you can carry this in. And then also the user guide as well. So I'm gonna be keeping it in this pouch and keeping it safe and secure. But as you can see, this pouch is quite small as well. So it's pretty awesome to take with you anywhere you want. Right, it's so compact that it's claimed to have uh, the ability to take with you in your pocket. So let's go ahead and see if that actually works. Look at that. I would never have expected to carry a gimbal with me in my actual pocket in my jeans. So this is pretty awesome. It is bulky, obviously it will stick out and it's probably better to take with you in the carry case in a backpack. But just to showcase how small and how light that is, this is so easy to take with you even if you had to put it in your pocket. So just a quick introduction to the buttons that come on this. You have the power on button there, you just hold it down for a few seconds. And then this actually doubles up as a switch between portrait and landscape modes, which is really awesome. A lot of gimbals you have to do it manually with the actual axis, but you press this once and it will switch the uh, gimbal to portrait if you wanted to do that. And I'll showcase you that in a second. And if you just double tap this, it will recenter the gimbal as well. You don't have a recenter button at the back. And then you also have the shutter button there on the left hand side. So this will actually take pictures if you press that once. If you hold it down, it will take videos and you can hold it down again to uh, stop recording. Then you have the joystick there. You have the USB-C charging port, battery indicator on the top there and Bluetooth indicator light there on the, on the right hand side. On the left hand side, you have the zoom buttons there for the telephoto and the wide zoom controls. So that's pretty much there. You also have some locks on the back here for all the different axes. So you've got one there where you can clip this like this all the way around. And you also have the twisted lock here for the axes there. Then you also have a lock here. If you twist this around, you can hit a click. And the top, you can also lock by twisting that around like this. Now the purpose of having all of these locked is so that you can use this as a selfie stick. So nothing can rotate, nothing will roll, and if you just wanted to mount your phone in there, you can use that just to take pictures of yourself as a normal selfie stick. And there you go, it won't shake around, it's pretty solid. So that's really cool. Now let me quickly show you a brief introduction into the new Hohem Pro Gimbal app. Okay, so now let me go ahead and turn on the gimbal, just make sure the phone is held in a good position. There you go, it's very straight. The button on the top right hand corner is where you can start using this. But first of all, just to show you that the camera lens is on this side and you probably notice that the axis of the gimbal is just there slightly to the right hand side of the phone. That's because it leaves such a big margin for you to make sure you capture all of your videos and photos perfectly without any of the axis is getting in the way. So it gives you that very wide angle view. So let me go ahead and hit this start recording button on the top right. And there you go, here's all of the different features that this app can do. Now, if I click on this button at the bottom called Moment, this will give you a showcase of all the different features that this can automate for you. So I'm gonna showcase to you that in a second. So you've got Dolly Zoom, Panoramic Video, Smart Motion Time Lapse. You have a fantastic rotation, which is slightly new. I'm gonna pretty much try this out. It pans both ways when it's doing a rotation. You've got inception modes at both 270 degrees and at 180 degrees. So I'll do the 271 as well to showcase today. So that's pretty much all of the different motions that it's got there. You can also do a time-lapse mode there on the bottom. And there's pretty much so many different things. You can have multiple filters if you wanted to cycle through that when you're recording. And you can do phase tracking there on the left-hand side if you hit that button there. All right, guys, so I'm ready to take this out and give it a test run. I'm gonna be showcasing all of the different modes that I think will look really good for this video. So just to quickly show you some of the things I'm gonna try as well. The switch between the landscape and the portrait modes is just really awesome and really smooth. One press of the power button, as you can see here. 
look at that so smooth so slick pretty quick so no manual work it's just quick and easy the other thing that I really like about this is if you turn this upside down it will automatically adjust and you can do top down recording as well so if you want to get really low angle video shots then this is perfect for you it automatically adjusts as you can see here it's so smooth and if you flip it back up you'll fix it and center it straight for you there let's go ahead and take a look at some of these shots Alright guys, so thanks for watching. If you really like that review, then do give this video a thumbs up. And if you have any questions about this gimbal itself, if you want me to try anything, or if you're having a bit of a problem setting it up, then drop a comment below. I'll try to help you as much as I can. Otherwise, I hope you really liked that review. I'm gonna be reviewing so many more gimbals in the future and other really cool tech that I know you're gonna like. So make sure you subscribe and you won't miss those ones. Until next time guys, take care.